Hi, this is Exploring with Emma and Stu. I'm Em. And I'm Stu. And today we brought you to Chatham here in Kent, where we're hoping to explore just a small part of the massive military um, forts and things they've got here, haven't they? That's it. Yeah, we're hoping to find a little something to show you. So we're going to go and try and find this place and incorporate a little bit of walking at the same time. <laughs> so we'll see you in a sec. So Chatham has a long history with being heavily defended due to its important docklands that were here. The defences which remain here date back to the mid 1700s and consist of a dry moat with several bastions which run along pretty much the entire length of the town. There's actually a surprising amount of remains left considering that a modern town has pretty much been built right on top of it all. This includes a maze of tunnels and hidden little bits, like the one we're actually going to show you today. And we've actually got one bit right here, which is one of the original sally ports, but locally we believe they're known as the cat's eyes. So, a little bit of information from Emma doing those nice little, little bits. Bit. We don't know an awful lot about this place, so no. I'm not going to pretend it's going to be a history lesson. It's not going to be, but we're going to try and do this as a, a little bit of a new type of video. Um, I'm going to be in it because Emma says I should be in it. Yes. Um, so, but we're going to be heading to the MOD bit now, uh, which was actually sold in the 1920s or decommissioned. Well, apparently this place has not actually been of any use since the 1920s, other than maybe the odd air raid shelter section. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't think the MOD own it anymore, do we? I don't think they do. <laughs> so, um, let's go and have a quick look, shall we? Right, so uh, we're going to be uh, walking towards where we can find an entrance yes. there is a few little buildings and everything on the way to the cat size uh, which we are going to go and have a quick yeah. look at if we can see anything that we can recognize maybe we'll we'll point it out exactly. uh, again it'll be a bit of guesswork really because there's only so much we know about these forts with its bastions and stuff but oh, we'll give it a go we'll give it a go <laughs> so uh let's go and have a look shall we it's amazing that this little bit of wasteland here, pretty much right in the middle of the town, has got such an interesting history with all sorts of tunnels and things that people don't even know about anymore, hidden right beneath our feet. So on closer inspection, we believe what we've actually found is a World War II machine gun post. Of course, there's always been a threat for invasion, even from the Germans during World War II, and Chatham is also littered with all sorts of remains from that war as well. On our way to the Sally Port, we actually discover this old gate, which we believe may have been an entrance into the fort. Right. So we're coming through, it'll be very, yeah. very quiet. And we keep coming across things. 
coming across crossbow and water stuff it's brilliant yeah. we've just come across a really good intact spigot quite mower. a large one they clearly these defenses the old bastions they just plonk pillboxes and all sorts of things it's brilliant for world war ii why wouldn't they that's what they did in yeah. the second world war it was improvised and then using what you had so we're really happy with that didn't well, the, the stuff that we're finding yeah. is great had no idea proper explore for once yeah. so uh and we're enjoying it absolutely so uh, we're going to get cracking and have a look at some more stuff really excited yeah uh, we're here <laughs> We actually um, found it. Well, we thought we'd find it. <laughs> it's really good. Obviously, we're keeping our voices down because we are right next to a yeah. public footpath. And we don't know if there's a ranger or anything in these parks. But uh, it's brilliant. Um, Old-fashioned M Explore. It's a bit, yeah, it's just a bit of a vintage explore yeah, for us. <laughs> we have a little bit of professionalism, obviously. But we're going to go in and have a quick look. We hope you really enjoy what we show you. So this is supposedly the Sally Port. Um, we're not going to pretend that we know an awful lot about Sally Ports, but there's certainly a few features that we can recognise. So uh, I guess we'll just take you for a little look around and show you whatever we find that looks a bit interesting. So this is quite clearly an old fireplace. It's actually covered in soot and, uh, and yeah, the flue would have gone all the way up to the roof. So there's a feature we can certainly uh, tell you a little bit about. I guess they had some little home comforts for the men when they were down here. So the main purpose of a sally port was that it was a defensive position uh, built along the bastions. And, uh, and so this sally port is, is covered in all these loopholes. Basically, they're firing slits direct down into the dry moat, which would be on the other side of this wall here. So each room has got one of these incredible vaulted ceilings up here, um, really quite, um, quite clear of the era that it was built in. You only really see them on older buildings. And the reason why there's so much rubble all over the floor is because it would have actually have been lined with a brick floor and there's actually a little bit here still to see in situ. So there's actually quite a few little rooms off of this main compartment and we're gonna go through this doorway just here So here we are in this little room and uh, the main feature is this massive uh, ventilation um, shaft we believe it very likely was um, clearly there's parts of it missing now um, but also just down here this looks like it was probably just a little cubby hole for storage whether they put shells or something in that I don't really know and just over here of course we've got three more firing slits that would have aimed straight out onto that dry moat. So this entire sally port was clearly mished and mashed up over the years. Uh, you can see bits that have been added on, little vaults in the walls that don't really make any sense. But we've got some more firing loops there and what was possibly a later addition just here. And here we have a prime example of this mishmash. There's actually two firing loops just here out into the building. Clearly this was probably an earlier um, structure and uh, what looks a bit like a doorway out into the dry moat, I guess was added later on. So we've got another room here, so let's go and take a look and see what's in it. Oh, so what it looks like we've got here is a big archway onto what was the dry moat. And uh, if you look really carefully, these were very clearly more firing slits that are crossed there. Um, to me, they look like they were probably added afterwards. So this room is actually quite substantial. Um, behind me, well, there's obviously a bit of a mishmash of bits and pieces going on. I'm not going to pretend that I even really know what they are or what it was. Maybe it led to something once. Um, but we do have, just above, a ventilation shaft uh, with a very black ceiling. So whether or not there was a fireplace in here once, or possibly somebody has actually just lit in a fire since, I imagine. So we think this area here was, other than, rather than being like a defensive area, I think it was probably used uh, just for some home comforts for the, the soldiers that would have been down here. Because just to the back, there's very clearly stoves and a bit of a fireplace and definitely no defensive structures at all to be seen.
So this explore is a really good explore for us. Yeah. Uh, we haven't done a wall structure for absolutely ages. No, and we've certainly never done one as old as this, I don't no. think, other and than like the odd castle. <laughs> absolutely, and we've never done a video like this. So this is our first time of ever doing a video like yeah. this. Yeah, bit it's, of a mashup of a vlog. And it a hasn't been planned. <laughs> it hasn't been um, scripted in any way. No, we didn't even know we were coming here to do this. No, until <laughs> yesterday, and then we had final entrance here. We, we discovered the place and yeah. we decided to come today. We had to buy torches because we hadn't bought torches yeah. with us. <laughs> so, but um, we hope that you're really enjoying this video as much as we are enjoying making this. This is a lot of fun It today. is good fun, yeah. It's a lot of fun today. Um, but we want to show you one more thing and Emma's going to show you that in just a second. So just inside one of these big doorways here is what looks a bit like an anti-tank block. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's a bit of a mystery as to why it's actually here. Some say it was maybe just to st stop um, vehicles from getting into here, obviously a long time ago. Uh, very likely, well, this looks like World War II concrete to me. Um, but some people think that it actually is it's on top of a stairwell, which clearly it probably isn't. Uh, if you look just at the bottom here, somebody has decided to uh, try and dig into what they were hoping would be a tunnel or something or another but uh, very unsuccessfully. Clearly, this is just a big lump of concrete. So this has been the Sally Port here at the Chatham Lines. Yeah, yeah, it's been a really good explore. We've put a little bit of specialism in it with a little bit of the old exploring, exploring way. vlog. <laughs> we thought we'd give it a go, see how it goes. Uh, we've obviously got the cinematic stuff in, so please drop a comment at the end. Yeah, let us know what you think, because if it. you enjoy it, we'll do a bit more like this, because we've actually really enjoyed filming in this way yeah. and this place is absolutely amazing it is. there's loads more to see underneath Chatham um, when we get a chance and a little bit of time to ourselves we will be coming back we at will. some point in the future we will. absolutely but as from exploring with Emma Stu as usual we'll see you again yeah. thanks for watching bye, bye. If you like this video please subscribe from the link above and if you want to see some more content from us we also have a patreon which you can join for just three pound a month there's loads of videos already on there with new ones every week uh, so we always appreciate your support so please take a look